Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and The Invaders, issue number eight. Okay, I'm going to have to break this down to a couple of different portions here, okay? I'm going to give you a heads up when that happens. First, we're going to talk about who made the comic book, then we're going to talk a little bit about the comic book itself, then I'm going to get a little bit into the politics of the book, then we're going to get into the absolute freaking craziness of the book, because holy crap, in that part is a whole lot of spoilers, because there's a lot to take in with this book. It ain't no joke. Let's start with that, all right? We got uh, Invaders Dead in the Water, Part 2. Writer Chip Zardosky, artist Carlos Magno and Butch Juice. Color artist uh, Alex Guimarez and Dano Sanchez Almara. The letters are done by VCs Travis Lanham. The cover, Butch, Butch Juice and Romulo Fierro Jr. And Carlos Dal Lau, excuse me, Carlos Lau does the graphic design. All right, a lot to do here, guys. So we basically get... The Iron Torch, that's the big thing on the front of the cover, which is the most minor thing, the the, the, the least thing uh, of any importance in this comic book. Uh, the, Jim Hammond has been reduced to a head. Tony Stark cobbles together his own words, uh, uh, an iron body, you know, an Iron Man body, so it's like titanium and paint, and <laughs> slaps the head on top, and now the Human Torch has an iron body. Does it make him more powerful? Yeah, it probably does. But it also takes away his humanity, and that's the big thing about him. You haven't seen a whole lot of the Human Torch in comics, right? Every time you do, it's usually some minor thing. He just wants to be a human. He's the first synthesoid. So before there was the Vision, there was this guy. He's the first hero in the Marvel Universe. Um, Namor is the first character in the Marvel Universe. But it wasn't created by Marvel. It was created for Marvel, for Timely. Anyway, um, so this is... Basically, it's just um, this guy saying, I'm going out and kicking some serious butt. We find out the truth of what's going on with Namor. That's going to have to happen in the spoiler section. Basically, uh, in general, we see that Professor X did indeed mess with his head. He thought he was doing a good job in helping him out, though. The problem is other things have happened to him since. Um, and the, what do you call it? the um T'Challa and Shuri come over to help out with the... Um, the understanding of the genetics in regards to these people who've been turned into permanent fish people, you know, mer people. And uh, is that the politically correct way to say it? <laughs> and the, um, when push comes to shove, yeah, man, not, not looking good for the people because they found a way to replicate it, which is what Roxon wanted to do. Uh, but T'Challa wound up doing it. T'Challa and Shuri did it first. So basically Wakanda did it first. The question is, who's going to get the patents on this first? That's going to be an, a really important deal here, I imagine. Um, yeah, this book is nutso crazy. Now let's talk about the politics of the book a little bit, because the politics in the book are crucial. The idea of money in politics, people bribing, and we see right here it's Roxon. It's Roxon Oil Company, who they go on and they're real buddy-buddy with politicians and whatnot. And you got business executives working with politicians to talk on the news to explain things. It's the most disgusting thing imaginable. But like they show, they show in here, Zardoski has a great understanding. He used to be a journalist, from my understanding. Um, so yeah, he knows this stuff, you know. But he, uh, what do you call it? He sees the way that politicians are bribed and it's legal in this in the United States now unfortunately but anyway um and the way that they just they bow to the money like that th uh this Roxon head he practically smacks the the politician across the face he does so verbally for sure uh tells him to shut up so we pay you to do this the least you could do is think on this and but like just belligerent belligerent they're nothing but puppets. And why do they do that? Because they want to get that next check. They're, they're, they're willing to sell themselves out for that. Now let's get into the actual spoilers of the book, which is, this was freaking crazy. I'm going to show you a picture here, and you've been warned. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here for a spoiler. It's up to you. Um, uh, what's his, what the heck is his freaking name in here? Uh, Tommy Mc, McCann. Tommy McCann. The memory. Mind you, this is what he looks like. Professor X used that memory of Tommy McMahon to try and help him through his problems. Read the book for a deeper understanding of what's going on. But they do kind of, they don't play fast and loose, but they are kind of loose with things. But this is what he looks like now. Atlantean, right? Why? He explains, oh, 
all this stuff happened around the time of um, um, Namor dis um, founding the Oracle Corporation. This was back in the early 90s, if I'm remembering correctly. This is the series that um, uh, uh, Namor wanted to bring back Iron Fist after he'd been dead for so long. That was interesting. And unfortunately, that's like the biggest thing that came out of it. But basically, the gist of it is... Um, Namor used a whole bunch of the treasure found undersea from, you know, discarded pirate ships. And the way that international law is, whoever finds a, sh you know, a treasure that falls in the sea, well, whoever finds it, you own it. <laughs> Bang, there you go. So Namor owns it. Um, and he went and decided to make the Oracle Corporation to try and do better in the world, to try and, you know, buy out companies that were doing horrible, terrible things, and to try and help to stem global warming, to try and uh, help to stem the, the tides of, of pollution coming in and destroying the coral reef. It was an important thing. It was actually a really great concept that unfortunately didn't get the love and attention that it should have. Um, I wasn't reviewing comic books at the time, so I couldn't really help people out with that. Anyway, do what I can for this book. Um, so it was during this time that Tommy McGann evolved into being an Atlantean, which gave all these ideas to Namor about turning people into actual Atlanteans. Now, here's the big deal about it. Susan Storm makes an appearance in here also. I think that's awesome. And if you understand any of the history between Susan Storm Richards and um, uh, her rubber husband, <laughs> as Namor puts it, and Namor himself, you're already loving this. This is already a huge deal that she shows up. A huge deal that she shows up. But at one point, he says there's more than one way to keep things invisible. There's, um, it doesn't explain in here, but in the Marvel Universe, there's also mental invisibility. Cause, and Professor X has done this a lot of times. Another item that allows you to do that is the goddamn Serpent Crown. He's had this on his head for how long now? This is a huge, huge deal in the Marvel Universe right now. Guys, this is a self-contained comic book that could straight up be an event. An event. One of these days, somebody's going to ask Chip Sardosky to make an event for the Marvel Universe. And by him making books like this, I can't imagine what he's going to do to the Marvel Universe itself. Excuse me. Could it actually be Hickman level? That's a big, tall order, right? But I look forward to seeing if he could, in fact, do it. Guys, this is an amazing, amazing book that just went nutso, off the scales, crazy from this point on. I know how to say crazy in several languages, and all of them are coming to mind right now. <laughs> like, this is, wow, this is out of this world. If you're not getting this comic book, treat yourself to an event inside of a single title. Nah, this needs to be in everybody's pull list. That's real talk. This is next level writing. The art in this is, you're, you, you saw the art. The art is absurdly good. Guys, this is a kick-ass team with a, this story. Get the book. Just get the book. There's my words. Get the book. Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.